Well, hello everybody, this is Sean back with another video from my channel 300 Bod. And today I'm going to take a look at this uh, thrift store find. I've got a Panasonic a VCR. I picked this one up because it looked like it was in really nice condition. It did come with the remote. The case is pretty nice. There's one tiny little scratch, one little mark back here on the side. But other than that, not too bad. This is exactly how I got it. I hadn't, haven't cleaned it or anything. There's a little bit of dust in the rear. And I'm going to connect it to this Dell uh, monitor. This is another monitor I bought at the same thrift store uh, about a year ago. Uh, the reason I got this monitor is because it, it's a 4x3 aspect ratio, so it works really nice with classic computers and video games and things like the NTSC uh, standard. Um, but even more than that, it has S-video and composite video inputs. Um, so I'm going to connect those and we'll take a look at that here in a second. Let's take a look at the rear of this VCR. Like I said, this is the condition that I got it in. And you can see it's pretty nice. See, it looks like this one was made in Japan. I'm sure someplace here we have the year of manufacture, but I, oh, it looks like, yep, yeah, it, was, it was manufactured in January of 2000. So this is a 22 year old VCR now. Um, here's our stereo connections and our antenna connections. Uh, our video connections and you can see there's a little bit of dust collected but not too bad for a VCR that's uh, 22 almost 23 years old. So here's the rear of my Dell monitor. I popped the uh, stand off and we can see that this is a uh, looks like the model number is 2007 FPB which is a very strange name to call that. Um, this one in particular you can see I've got uh, looks like a speaker power output. I guess if you're running a DVI-D in, you can run your, uh, you get your sound input and you can run out to your speakers. We've got uh, USB uh, connections, so it's got the USB ports on the side, a couple of USB ports on, down the bottom in your, uh, your USB input, and we also have our S-Video port. Next to that is a composite video input, and we've got our VGA input and the DVI-D input. Um, and then our power input. Uh, this one looks like it was made in Mexico. Don't see a date code on this guy. Oh, there it is. So this is uh, June 2010. So that makes this one currently almost a 13 year old monitor. So to get my VCR connected to this uh, monitor, I'm gonna need to uh, connect in the video using this cable. We'll go to the output on the VCR. I'm going to need my um, left-right audio going from the VCR um, to this adapter here, which is going to plug into this little adapter here, and then we're going to plug in this guy here. So let's go ahead and get these connected in. Snap that guy in like that. We'll snap this guy in here. So I got quite the uh, quite the little adapter connector there. And then we're going to hook up our red cable which should be the right channel, like so. And then our left channel in here. So that's gonna give me my audio. And now we just need to get our video hooked up. So I'll connect this to the yellow connection output on my VCR, and then the other side will go up into my monitor. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now on this one, on the left, I have my input. On the right, I have my output. So. I'm just going to connect my yellow cable there and I'll be connecting in my left channel and my right audio channel like so and just go ahead and push them in uh, and that'll be done on the VCR side. I've got to find my video input which is right next to the S video cord installed. There we go. So I've got my VCR now connected to uh, the monitor and I've got the audio going to my speakers. And now it's time to test uh, this VCR and see if it works. And because I don't want to get a, a copyright strike, I think we'll take a look at Silent Movie because then we don't have to have any audio going. This is actually a Blockbuster pre-owned video cassette, which is kind of cool. So here you can see we got the Blockbuster franchise, Silent Movie, um, looks like this was purchased in 2006, so pretty cool. 
Let's go ahead and get this thing fired up and see what happens. First thing, let's go ahead and turn on my VCR. See if it comes on. Nothing. What the heck? Not getting any power. All right, so let's go around, try to find out where the power is going. What the heck? No power. They said it was tested. It's not working. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I played around with my power connections and um, that still did not light this up. I pushed the um, power here. Oh, there we go. So power is doing something. I'm getting something. Oh, there we go. So it's on channel 19. Now, what's really weird, I've never seen this, is I don't have any display on the front panel. So seems to be something going on there. Not sure if it really matters, um, but let's go ahead and put in a video and see what happens. So it's actually pulling it in and it's saying play. And there we go. We have a video. Now this is uh, VHS, so we're looking at 240 line resolution, but it's really not too bad. Um, let me see if I get any kind of sound here at all. There we go. So yeah, it's working. I'm gonna throw some batteries. Oh, there we go, silent video. Um, so I'm going to throw some batteries in a remote and see if there's any way to turn on the display here. Um, it's a little, make it a little weird noise. Oh, I see. Now I see it. It's very dim. That's bizarre. I've never seen that. It's just super bizarre. There's light in there, but it's just extremely dim. So maybe there's a capacitor out or something. But honestly, I don't think it matters. All I want is a good picture and that's what I got. So I'm happy with this. So here's my remote. You can tell this is a big, big remote control for the size of it. I mean, look at that. Let's see if we can put some batteries in this guy and see if it controls the VCR. Very hard to do one-handed, but doing a YouTube channel like this, you get better and better doing things with just one hand. There we go. Let's see if I can rewind my video. Rewind. There we go. She's rewinding. Now she's a, that's a pretty noisy VCR. Might have to take it apart, give it a good clean, see if I can get it to quiet down a little bit. <laughs> it says home theater ready. I have no idea what that means. Little arrows pointing at the screws, which is pretty nice. Looks like this only has two screws holding the back on. That should be it. Screws, there we go. Comes up, out, real easy. It's not, not too bad inside here, a little dirty. So there's the inside of this VCR, not too bad. Um, here's your head, take path comes around, goes around the head, and you can see the little heads right here. They are what swipe. I'm gonna give that a good cleaning. See if I can help it a little bit. Here's our gears. We got, uh, the grease is starting to kind of solidified in there. Probably wouldn't be bad to clean that out and re-lubricate re it. Um, doesn't appear to be any belts in here, which is good because uh, belts will go bad over time. Um, yeah, this could probably be cleaned up here. Oh wow, that's all gunky, so we'll clean that up. Okay, so typically I would use a little bit of rubbing alcohol um, and Q-tips, but I ran out. So I'm gonna use this stuff. It's computer cleaning solution. See the sweet old system on there. It's uh, pretty old. Um, basically, if uh, hopefully this is mostly just alcohol, doesn't really say what it is, but you just don't want to build up residue in here. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of 
a little squirt on here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And I'm just going to wipe the uh, heads off really quick. Give them a little bit of a wipe. And there should be four of these guys. Just like that. I'll go around it one time. We'll clean the tape path as well. There we go. So that's actually pretty dirty. So that might help. Um, and I want to go ahead and wipe off um, the other uh, surfaces that make contact with the tape. So we'll wipe this guy off here. I don't know. I think this is a break is what this is. I'm not sure. It looks like it makes contact with the tape. It's pretty dirty too. Whatever this is, it looks like it was designed to be replaceable. And uh, we can wipe off our rollers in the side here as well. Give them all nice clean. I believe this is our erase head right here. I'll give that a good wipe. So, and then we can just roll, wipe off the other rollers real quick. see there's quite a bit of dirt along the tape path. Pretty dirty. There's another one there. I'm not going to touch that with this. And oh, that's, that's greasy, so we'll leave that alone. There's that first one. Let's go to the next. All right. Let's see if there's any other major areas I should hit. Maybe this one here. Yeah, that's dirty. And we'll cut wipe this off right here. Wow, that one's really dirty. Not sure what that does right there. Okay, so got power. Let's pop this movie in and see how how it looks. Bad. Well, it's playing. Looks about the same. I don't have my sound hooked up right now. Kind of curious what's going on with the noises in here. But I can follow the tape path around. So you can see it goes around these two posts here. Works across this head over here, whatever the heck that's doing. It's probably some kind of sensor, probably for the end of tape. We're wrapping around here going around the head. This I believe is uh, an erase head, but it's coming back around that way. I think it's making a little less noise than it did before. A lot of things moving around in there. Okay, so I've got my VCR plugged in. Uh, TV's on, speakers are on, um, but I don't have any display here. This is very unusual. Um, but if I zoom, if I come in real close, oh, there's nothing there. Um, I can turn on the VCR. And, yep, I get the screen coming up. It's on channel 19, which is an odd place to be. Um, but if I get really close, then you can see that it is lit up inside there. Um, but I just cannot see it with uh, my regular vision. So, if I use the remote, I can um, select display, which is right there, and then I can see what it would say in the display down here. So, I'm okay with that. Um, so, let's go ahead and try putting a video in. Let's just see what happens. So she's playing.
So this is pretty nice picture quality and decent sound quality. So I'm pretty happy with this. So this is Mel Brooks's silent movie. I've never seen this. I'll have to watch it. It's kind of cool because uh, this is a used movie from Blockbuster, pre-owned or previewed they call it. You can see over back here. This is uh, looks like in 2006. My mother would have bought this from Blockbuster. So their VCR is uh, 240 lines of resolution, I believe, in NTSC. <laughs> and there is no sound whatsoever. This is a great movie to preview on this channel. Ooh, I just saw a Porsche 914 go by. That was pretty cool. Old Mustang. All kinds of cool stuff. I'll definitely have to watch this movie. Looks pretty good. All right, so that's about it to show you guys um, today. I'm going to give it a cleaning, and if it works, I'll let you know. Talk to you later. Bye.